before I get into this next video, I want to give a huge thank you and um, a shout out to Skillshare for actually sponsoring my channel. Now, essentially what they are is like an online learning community center where um, you know, tons of people that are actually credited, they work in the fields that they teach. So these are actual professionals, not just like people on YouTube who make random videos about any topic. These are people that actually have experience and then they just share their knowledge so you can learn something about photography, film production, um, finance, literally just a whole variety of topics. Now, I'm going to go to my computer and show you exactly what it looks like, but I want to let you guys know I'm going to be doing a deck giveaway um, for one of the first 500 people that actually signs up using the link down below. It's completely free. It's going to give you two free months of Skillshare. Normally, it's like 10 bucks a month, but with that link, it's going to give you two free months just to try it out, so there's literally no reason not to just give it a shot. Plus, I'll be doing a deck giveaway, so make sure to comment done once you've clicked the link and signed up, and then um, I'm going to show you guys exactly what the website looks like and everything like that. All right, guys, so this is what the website is going to look like the moment you guys sign up using those two free months of uh, Skillshare Premium. Now, with the actual premium account, you're have unlimited access to all these types of courses. Um, now, when you first sign up, what they're going to have you do, it's kind of like Netflix where you kind of pick movies that you like and then, you know, Netflix will show you what other movies you might be interested in. Same thing here. You go through, these are the main four categories I was talking about earlier. So you can learn stuff in creative works, business, technology. So just, you know, not even just film production, photography, but you got stuff like marketing, uh, freelance, entrepreneurship, just literally so many different stuff. Now, when you first sign up, um, obviously for me, you know, I'm, I'm into YouTube, so I'm going to click on film production. And this is kind of the category that I clicked on. And what they did was they created created like a little catalog of different courses that they thought I was going to be interested in this way. You're not just learning stuff you don't even care about. You're learning about things you actually want to, you know, have some more knowledge in. So I'm going to show you guys what an individual course might look like. So this is the one I'm going to show you guys real quick, DSLR filmmaking from beginner to pro. So this is something that, you know, I'm going to be more interested in because I do have a DSLR and that's how I film all my channels or all my videos. So essentially you click on the uh, the course here and you can see, you know, who makes it, what his credentials are. You can see, you know, he's one of the top teachers here on the website. And then below you can also see, you know, what are you going to learn in this course to see, you know, if you even want to. So this way it gives you a good description. You know, you're not wasting your time. You come over here, you can see exactly what he's done before, you know, why you should even listen to him. And I think that's the main part of Skillshare is that you're learning from somebody who actually knows what they're talking about. So I'm going to show you guys exactly what a course uh, would look like the moment you click on it. So... Welcome to the DSLR filmmaking course and I'm very excited that you're here. My name is Jordi, I'm a filmmaker from Belgium and we mostly make commercials, promotional films and event films. So right off the bat, you guys can see that, you know, this guy literally does his work professionally and all he's doing is kind of just sharing his knowledge with you. And on the side, you guys can see all the different uh, videos that he has in his course. So right off the bat, you see the top three main parts about, you know, photography, the aperture, ISO, and shutter speed, all that kind of stuff. And you go down below and there's quizzes and stuff also, you know, infuse this way, you know, you can actually see what you're learning and whatnot. So like I said, guys, it's a super, super cool website, and I really hope you guys actually take the time out and get those two free months. Like I said, comment done when you're uh, done with the video, and once you sign up, I'll be doing a deck giveaway. Uh, and also go fast, because it's only going to be available for the first 500 people. So anyways, guys, that's about it, and on to the rest of the video. All right, so here's how the trick is actually going to work. So this is actually sent in to me by one of my subscribers. His name is Pola. He emailed me and sent me this really cool impromptu. Um, mathematical card trick. So you can use a borrowed deck. It's going to work every single time. And what you're going to do is you're going to tell your spectators the first thing um, is that you actually have the prediction. So on my phone here, I'm just going to show you guys um, that I do have a prediction, but I'll show you guys in a second. So I'm going to leave this off to the side. I'm not going to touch it. Now, uh, to start this off, all you have to do is tell your spectators to pick three random cards. Okay, so you go ahead. They're going to pick a card here, here, and then maybe down here, something like that. So there's, these are completely random, and here's how it works. So you have the eight a king and a two, right? So here are the three cards. And essentially what you're doing is these are three random cards Spectre chose from like a borrowed deck. All you want to do is add these up to 13. So in this case, the kings already were 13, so we don't have to worry about that. But the two, you have to count three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Same thing for the king, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So now you have, um, all these cards, you add them up to 13, each pile is worth 13 cards, and then you add up each individual card. So 2 plus 8 is going to be 10 plus 13, which is going to be 23. So from those 23 cards, you now we count down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and 23. So you have to remember that these cards are picked completely, you know, at random. You pick these three cards. It was a borrowed deck. I'm going to show you guys real quick what the prediction is. If you look over here on my phone, it's actually 
the two of spades. I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but it does say the two of spades. And if I show you guys right here on the deck, the 23rd card down from the deck is going to be the two of spades. So this is the card trick. I hope you guys like it, and uh, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. All right, so here's how you guys are going to be able to do the trick. So like I said, it, it is really super simple. It is impromptu. Um, so what you could do is you could use a borrowed deck. You could have the spectator shuffle it, and all you're going to have to do is glance at the 10th uh, card from the bottom. So essentially you just count off, that's three, six, nine, the 10th card is gonna be the five of diamonds. So if the spectator is just kind of like, you know, stuffing the deck, you can take the deck back and just kind of look through the cards and you're gonna get to the 10th card and that's gonna be the five of diamonds, right? So you go in, you remember the five of diamonds and now from here the trick is pretty much set. All the spectator is gonna do is pick three cards now, you want to just slowly um, peel off cards from the top. So, you say, All right, so go ahead and grab some cards as they go by. And don't spread the deck and then have them pick three cards because you don't want them to pick any cards from below. You want to keep that five of diamonds in the, the, uh, the ten range there. So you just have the cards like this. They can pick three cards out as they want. And it's super, super simple from here. You know, they picked three random cards. So, like, it isn't like you're forcing the cards. You're, you're generating that random number. So, essentially doesn't matter what card it is, all you have to do is add it up to 13. So in this case, we have 5. You tell them, okay, so 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. For 8, we have 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So then you add these up. So 8 plus 6, 14 plus 5, that's going to be 20 or 19. And then all you have to do... You say, okay, so you pick these three random cards. Okay, we're generating this random number that we add these cards up together. We get 19, right? So you go ahead and you say, okay, so from here, you can either tell them that what their card is in the prediction now, or you can wait. Or what you could do is like how I had my phone. You can kind of leave the prediction in front of them. So like they know that you haven't changed it at all. Um, and you're not just like, you know, glancing at these cards and like adding up numbers. You actually did know the card from the very beginning. So that's probably like the biggest thing. Just make sure you have the prediction um, you know, set out so they can see that. And essentially, you go down, you count the cards 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And then you count to the 19th card and then you flip over. So it's not going to be the 19th card, it's going to be like the card right after. So you count out, deal down exactly 19. The next card after is going to be, I forget which card, I think it was the Five of Diamonds, what we said. You flip that over, and that's going to be the spectator's card, guys. It's a super, super simple trick. Um, it's going to work every single time. Just make sure the card's in the 10th position, and then you can do some false cuts if you want. Um, but just make sure to leave the prediction in front of the spectator's face so that I can actually see it the entire time. Anyways, guys, this is it for the video. Make sure to uh, check out my sponsor, Skillshare. It's only going to be available for the first 500 people. And um, if you guys haven't subscribed, go and do so. And um, as always, thanks for watching.